So let's read the question. The sum of the third and seventh term of an AP is 6 and their product is 8. I repeat the sum of the third and seventh term of an AP is 6 and their product is 8. Based on this, we have to find the sum of the first 16 terms of an AP. So let's begin. So the first step is always write down what is given to you. The first thing given to us is the sum of the third and seventh term of an AP is 6. So third term plus the seventh term. This is given to us as 6. Is this clear? Next, and their product is 8. That means product of third term and seventh term is given to us as 8. Based on this, we have to find the sum of the first 16 terms. So see, an AP is uniquely determined by two things, first term and common difference. So two variables, A and D. So for two variables, how many equations do we need? Two. Equation 1, equation 2. Right? So let's first formulate the equations based on these conditions and then we'll solve for A and D. So see, what is third term of an AP? A plus 1 less than this into D. So A plus 2D plus what is seventh term of an AP? A plus 6D. This is given to us as 6. So A plus A, 2A plus 2D plus 6D plus 8D is equal to 6. Now I can take two common. So we get A plus 4D is equal to 6. Take the 2 over there. So A plus 4D is equal to 6 divided by 2. That is A plus 4D is equal to 3. So this is the first equation we get in A and D over here. Similarly, let's solve this over here. So third term meaning A plus 2D into seventh term meaning A plus 6D is equal to 8. Now see, when you multiply these two terms, we'll get A into A, A square and so on. So the best way to solve these two equations is we'll use the method of substitution. I repeat, see, when I multiply, I'll get A into A, A square. So it will get a bit complicated. So we'll substitute the value of A from here itself. See, we have A plus 4D is equal to 3. So from here itself, I'll get what is the value of A we get from here? Take 4D over there, 3 minus 4D. Now substitute this value of A over here. Is this clear? So what do we get? We have A, what is the value of A? 3 minus 4D. So A plus 2D. So A plus 2D multiplied by A. What is the value of A? 3 minus 4D. So 3 minus 4D plus 6D is equal to 8. I repeat once again. Basically, we have two equations and two unknowns. A and D, one equation over here. A and D, another equation over here. So basically, we have multiplication over here. So we'll use the method of substitution. So get the value of A from here, 3 minus 4D, and substitute it in this equation. So this is equation number one, this is equation number two. So I just got the value of A from here, plugged it in over here. Now let's simplify this. So we get 3 minus 4D plus 2D is minus 2D, multiplied by 3 minus 4D plus 6D, that is plus 2D is equal to 8. So now we basically have A minus B into A plus B, a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square is equal to 8. I repeat, this is a minus b into a plus b. I'll write the identity over here. That is a plus b into a minus b is basically a square minus b square. So a square minus b square. In case you forget this, you can do your normal multiplication. You'll get the same answer. So 3 square is 9 minus 2d. Sorry, this is whole square. So 2 square. 4d square is equal to 8. Is this clear? Otherwise, 3 into 3, 9, plus 6d, minus 6d, 0, minus 4d square. So even if you don't use this identity, you'll still get the same answer. So 9 minus 4d square is 8. So minus 4d square, take 9 over there, is 8 minus 9. So minus 4d square is minus 1. Then cancel the minus from both the sides. So d square is equal to 1 by 4. So what is the value of d? It is plus minus square root of 1 by 4, right? Whenever we take square root, we get both positive and negative value. So from here, the value of d that we get is one value is plus half and the other value is minus half. I repeat, square root of 1 by 4 is half. So plus half and minus half. Why? Plus half the whole square is also 1 by 4. Minus half the whole square is also 1 by 4. So we have two possible values of t. So based on this, we'll get two possible values of a. So I'll do it over here. So first I'll take, let's say I call this d1 and I call this d2. So when I say d1 is equal to plus half, based on this, what is the value of a we get? 
So what will A1 be? See, A is basically 3 minus 4D. So it is basically 3 minus 4 into D. What is the value of D we have? Plus half. So let's simplify this. So we get 3 minus 4 into half is 2. That is equal to 1. So the value of A we get is 1. So A1 is 1. So if I take D as half, what is A1? It is 1. Is this clear? Similarly, if I take D2 as minus half, so I'll take D2 as minus half, we'll solve for A2. So what is A? 3 minus 4D. So 3 minus 4 into D. D is minus half. So we get 3 minus 4 into minus half is plus 2. Is this clear? Minus into minus plus. So 3 plus 2, that is 5. So A2 is 5. So we have two possible combinations. Either D is half and A is 1 or D is minus half and A is 5. Now we have to find the sum of the first 16 terms. So we'll get two possible sums. One's S1 and one S2. I hope it is clear till now. So let me rub this off and then I'll get S1 and S2. Let me do a recap. So we're given sum of the third and seventh term is 6. We simplified this, we got A plus 4D is 3. Next, third term into seventh term is 8. So this is the equation we got. We use the method of substitution. A is 3 minus 4D. Plug it in over here. Solve, we get two values of D, half and minus half. Corresponding to each value of D, we got the corresponding value of A. Now we have to find the sum of the first 16 terms of the AP. So we'll get, so D1, A1 will get a S1, then D2, A2 will get a S2. Is this clear? So we first rub this off and then we'll find the sum. So basically we got two pairs of A and D. One was one and half, other was five and minus half. So based on this, we'll find the first 16 terms of an AP. So sum of N terms, write down the formula. So sum of N terms is N by two into two A plus N minus one into D. Now we want the sum of the first 16 terms, right? As it says over here, so S16, N is 16, is equal to 16 by 2 into 2 times A. First I'll use this. So 2 into 1 plus 16 minus 1 into D, D is half. So let's solve this. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 2 into 1 is 2 plus 16 minus 1 is 15 into half, 15 by 2. So we'll get this as 8 into, take the LCM of 1 and 2, it is 2. 2 divided by 1, 2 into 2, 4 plus 15. So we get this as 8 into 19 by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 8 divided by 2, 4. 19 multiplied by 4, that is 76. So sum of first 16 terms using these values of A and D, we get it as 76. Similarly, we'll find the sum of 16 terms over here. Again, I'll write on the same formula. Sum of n terms is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into D. Put n as 16. So S16 is 16 by 2 into 2 times A. What is A now? 5 plus 16 minus 1 into D. What is D? It is minus half. So 16 divided by 2, 8. 2 into 5, 10. Plus 16 minus 1 is 15 into minus half. So be very careful here. So it is 8 into 10. 15 to minus half. That is minus 15 by 2. What is the denominator of 10 over here? 1. Take the LCM, so upon 2, 2 divided by 1, 2 into 10, 20, minus 15. So 8 into 20 minus 15, 5 by 2, 2 divided by 2, 1, 8 divided by 2, 4. So we get the answer as S16, 4 into 5, that is 20. So there are two possible sums. Is this clear? Obviously, different values of A and D means a different AP. So satisfying the above condition, we have two different APs. One first term is one, common difference is half. Another first term is five, common difference is minus half. Is this clear? Don't confuse this as a second term of the AP. This is one AP, this is another AP. So this is AP one and this is AP number two, right? So we basically have two different APs. In the first AP, the first term is one, common difference is half. So sum of first 16 terms is 76. In the other AP, first term is five, so I'll just take this as A to avoid confusion and this as D, right? So first term is five, common difference is minus half, the sum is 20. So this is how you solve this question. So let me do a recap. Begin by what is given to you. We're given sum of the third and seventh term is six and their product is eight. So when you solve those two equations, you get two possible values of D. So for two values of D, we get two corresponding values of A. So we basically have two different APs, AP1, AP2. 
Find the sum of the first 16 terms over here, 76. Sum of first 16 terms over here, that is 20. Is this clear? So this is how you solve this question.